Hello, and welcome back to Checkpoint on campus. And you know, there's something I've noticed about us, Erica. Mm -hmm. I think that we really like partnerships on this podcast because we talk we about quite a few of them. And this uh, this partnership is going to be with Ethus and College Cod. Although it's a little bit different than some of the other uh, mergers that we've talked about where it's literal companies coming together. This is Ethus doing what they already do for College Cod. So they're going to be uh, joining forces to host two events. They're going to be hosting a summer eights tournament, <clears throat> which is going to be happening on July 29th through the 31st. With a Pretty prize soon. Pool of, yeah, no, very soon with a prize pool of 1,000. And then they're going to be having a summer open at the end of August with a 5K prize pool. And so registration for summer eights is already open and it's open for players, recruiting coaches and scouts, which is kind of the main thing I want to talk about today. Wow. Because <clears throat> the main thing that eFuse does is that they get players on the map. They try to host events where scouts can come look at players and see what they can do and see if they can fit into their into their team and their path to pro. So uh, a great quote from uh, the CEO was, we're dedicated to helping gamers get discovered. That's especially true in, in the college market where the path to pro is nearly uncharted. So we're going to talk about one of my favorite things in the segment, which is the path to pro. So we, we've talked about things like a combine in the past. Um, and this is kind of more like that. So my question to you, Erica, is do you think that kind of these random pop-up events is what we should do for Path to Pro? Or do you think it should be more of like a NFL draft where it's like on this date, every year, everyone comes here. It's a big thing. It's a big part of our pipeline. Or do you think it's kind of more of this as it comes up should be the way to tackle it, like these uh, events? Honestly, I think this is case by case because you have players who have been training and looking for other players to compete with their entire lives off season on season and i think the, these pop-up these pop-up partnerships really encourage them to keep doing what they do best which is grind every day but you also have students who are also trying to balance out their school life and their gameplay and i think a certain deadline really helps them put together their schedule so case by case what, what are your opinions on it though? What are your opinions on it? I'm inclined to agree with you just because every esports so different. Like even though the school year follows the same cycle, the players that are coming up in Overwatch might not be coming up at the same time as Call of Duty. At the same time, they might be coming up in League of Legends. And there's already companies like Efuse, there's some other ones that are, the name is the name slipping my mind, but there are multiple companies like Efuse where they put a little portfolio together for players and they show them to people or uh, <clears throat> on the opposite end, uh, recruiters can come to Efuse and be like, here are players. And so I think when companies have that access to information, they can then partner with the league that they want to, to then have that scouting event. Now, I also think it probably should be annual, but kind of the second part of my, my thoughts here is that esports really love to overdo it. They really love to overdo it with a lot of things, especially financially. And so when it comes to this path to pro, this pipeline, um, do we need anything else really for, for a pipeline? Because obviously when you come to like traditional sports, there's a lot of, physical things that you need there that you don't for esports. So is there really anything else that we need besides just these events of just like, hey, if you're a pro COD team, come to this event, watch our players, pick them. Like, you know, do we need anything besides that? I think, I think you and I both can agree on this other than what they're doing right now financially and bringing a community together. I think the biggest thing they need to do is to maintain that community because you have players again who are primarily students who are in the collegiate scene to express how they really feel towards the video games to express their competitive side but i think the biggest part of it is trying to keep them interested because you have these repetitive events these open tournaments these tournaments back to back but what is really motivating them to stay in the scene is it a promise to really go pro or is it just something to do on this side? And I think these events and these recruiters and the people who are in charge of these programs need to figure out what these collegiate players really need to cling on to to continue this path to pro. So not only a support system, but a bigger motivation than just being pro. Do you know what I mean? I kind of do. Yeah, because the, the, the place my mind always goes to is like broadcasting, right? Because we always, people in esports, especially collegiate, they want to get all these eyes on these players, which is good obviously but you always have to ask yourself at the end of the day who cares and so like when it comes to these events i mean that's a very important question for it's these true kinds of it's things. true but it's like oh we need to get on the front page of twitch so all these people can see these great college call of duty <laughs> players when this is an event for scouting it's not meant for the public to enjoy although it will be broadcast of course but it's meant for the scouters to come and see it so yeah no i i agree with you it's 
the promises in place in that community is a really great point because Call of Duty is a very community heavy esport. So with that, this is what we have for now. Hopefully we see more things like this for Overwatch and more things like this for League of Legends. But for now, we have E-Fuse and College COD. Again, first tournament's happening at the end of July. Second tournament's happening at the end of August. And I cannot wait to see what these players do in this tournament.